You are planning a summer barbecue and you've decided to serve kebabs. So you're thinking about making kebabs with two mushrooms, two shrimp, two cherry tomatoes, and two zucchini slices. But then you start to get worried. What happens if two of my guests get the same kebab, like in the same order? Is it like bad like grad dresses, where you go to grad and someone's wearing your same grad dress and you're like, I'm going to kill her? No. But maybe the same thing happens with kebabs. Two people get the same kebab. You know, they're on those metal skewers, which are super dangerous because they're pointy at the end. And you're, you're afraid that your guests might just start attacking each other with their metal kebabs if they get the same kebab as someone else. So you're like, oh my goodness. Well, how many kebabs could I make? Because I want, like, my barbecue is right before a Jets game. It's downtown on Donald Street. There might be a lot of people that show up. And so, how many different kebabs could I make? How is this an identical objects question? Well, we have two mushrooms, mushroom, mushroom. We have two shrimp, two cherry tomatoes, and two zucchinis. Ooh, that almost looks like mucus. I don't know how yummy these kebabs are going to be. Anyways, we have eight things. And if they were all different, you should have just decided to choose all different ingredients. Then you'd have eight factorial as the number of kebabs you can make. But we have two mushrooms, so we're going to have to divide by two factorial. Two shrimp, two cherry tomatoes, and two zucchinis. Type this into our calculator. Check my mental math. And you could make 2,520 different kebabs. Now, you have to be paying attention while you make them, because the chances are you might, oh, did I make this one already? So you'd have to have a pretty systematic way of making them so you don't screw up. But you know you can't invite 2,521 people to your backyard party because then you're probably going to get a skewer fight because this happens all the time. Questions for practice on this one? Seven and nine.